So I'm going to stop working on the AWS AppSync project. And I think if you want to take it further and continue using it, uh, it looks like AWS Lambda is going to be a good choice and create your resolvers in there. And then that way you can write JavaScript, or I think you'd probably be able to do any language that Lambda supports. And then you can access any other AWS resources from Lambda as well. Now I've got an interesting comment that I wanted to address in the last video, and they asked, what is the easiest way to create a REST, well not REST, but a React and GraphQL backend? And it's kind of an interesting question. And for me, I really like creating my own backend. Um, and there's three tools or four tools or projects that right now um, I'm really thinking about looking more into and testing out and using in my tool chain and my stack uh, to kind of make things easier for me. The first is Prisma. I've used this a little bit and it's pretty nice. Um, the other one is Hasura, PostGraphile, and GraphQL Code Generator. Now these two I haven't used too much, Hasura and PostGraphile. PostGraphile I've tried out a wee bit um, and it was a long time ago. And then GraphQL Code Generator is kind of uh, different as well. This is more taking from your GraphQL code and generating um, not only types, so TypeScript types, but also you can generate any arbitrary code that you want to from your GraphQL schema or whatnot. So I kind of want to play around with this and also these libraries over here. Um, and I think they have a lot of potential to help speed up some of the backend work when you're setting up your own backend. Now I know not everyone wants to do that. And so there are some choices. Uh, one thing that I actually just saw, I was at GraphQL Summit and there was a new company called 8Base. And basically you set up a GraphQL schema using, I believe, just a GUI. I didn't actually, haven't tried it myself yet. But that would be an interesting thing to try out if you want to create a GraphQL backend and not have to code it yourself. The other thing that I'm going to be doing a series on very soon is trying out Firebase. I've heard a lot of good things about this. Um, I don't know if you can do GraphQL with it. I've heard like you possibly can. I'm not sure if that's the way to go or if it's even recommended to do GraphQL with it. I know for sure you can do REST. Um, and then I'm going to look into whether it's worth doing GraphQL with it or just stick with REST and it might be more work. But the plan with Firebase is I'm actually going to probably start this uh, series next week. And the reason why is because I'm going to be doing a competition this Saturday. It's called the 24-Hour Startup Challenge, and there's still time to register if you'd like to also join and compete against me. But basically how it works is in 24 hours, you try to create a startup, and it's going to be live streamed. So if you want to get notified, you can come to this page over here, slash binawad, um, and get notified whenever I start streaming if you'd like to watch me try to build a startup in 24 hours. So that's going to be happening, and pretty much the rest of this week before it happens, I'm going to be checking out PostGraph files some more. So this is the first tool that I basically want to check out and see, kind of deep dive into it. Well, I'm not sure if I'll be able to dive too deep into it in just a week, um, but give it a try and see how, you know, how to do all the things that you'd want in the back end with it and possibly use it for the challenge if I like how it works. So that's what I'll be doing this week is checking this out and making some videos on that and then I'll be doing the challenge this Saturday. So that's what's coming up in the near future.